Greetings and well met family, friends, and subscribers. Just a quick update on my trailer. I've added a jack stand, PVC pipe on a pivot with a bungee cord holding it into place with a 1x2 keeping it in place. And when I don't need it, it folds under the 1x2 and the bungee cord holds it in place nicely. Next, I have a tube semi-permanently mounted on the side of the trailer. This will carry fishing poles or any other long stuff that I need to carry. It will also carry my portable 2 meter 70 centimeter ham radio antenna. Had to do a little modification to the rear tail, bar, tail light bar but it all worked out nicely in the end. Next I have a bag attached to the inside front of the trailer where I can store stuff like inner tubes and bungee cords, tie down straps and everything like that. Just keeps everything organized. And last, I have an antenna mast. Um, I am a ham radio operator, have been since 2016. And this summer I'll be doing a couple of field deployments. So I said, well, why not put a mast on my trailer for my good 2 meter, 70 centimeter antenna. So I made a bracket which is crooked, I need to straighten it out. It's made out of one inch PVC. I have a five foot piece attached to the trailer and then another three, three foot piece that goes into the piece on the trailer guided by a dowel and a connector which isn't glued in. Um, all I gotta do is buy the coax and figure out how to mount the radio. Other than that, that is pretty much what I've done to the trailer, I am thinking about an awning on this side attached to the flagpole on the back and the antenna mast on the front so when I go fishing I can have something to sit under if the weather gets foul. Um, other than that, you can see I still have the stickers and um, it's all good. Um, I don't know if I'll do anything else to it. As my mom said, it'll get too heavy to pull. but. It never will. I will maintain. Other than that, uh, take it easy, have a good one, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.